Thanks so much for joining me for this devotional on this Sunday evening. Hope you guys are doing so well. I appreciate you and uh, just taking the time to be a part of this. Maybe you're uh, maybe you're home alone. Maybe you're with some family or friends or whatever. But regardless, I I think it's a good thing for us just to reflect for a few minutes and to just be called back to thinking about important things. You know, what ultimately matters. What I've been doing is, if you've been watching these uh, the last few months, you know that I try to uh, take whatever message I shared with the congregation on Sunday morning and think about how that might apply to you, the, the life you live outside of the walls of the church building. You know, this morning I shared a message on Habakkuk chapter 2, a uh, big part of the chapter, but focusing and culminating on the verse at the end of the chapter, verse 20, the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. That has become, over the past week or so, one of my favorite verses as I've sort of been, I don't know, just been thinking about it a lot, meditating on it. And so I want to share just a couple of practical applications for you. After my thoughts, uh, I'll have a prayer and then we'll play some songs and I hope you'll sing along with them as you worship. You know, the Lord is in his holy temple. And let all the earth keep silence before him. I Let me just share a little bit about what it's come to mean to me over the past few days as I've been thinking about it. Uh, there's this practice called Lectio Divina. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's been a practice of followers of Jesus for hundreds of years. Uh, you, you may never have heard about it in Churches of Christ. We haven't done a whole lot with it. But basically what it means is it's, it's slowing down with Scripture, reading it out loud, and letting every word just kind of seep into your soul. And it has been a practice adopted by a lot of people to help them really to just to let the Word of God kind of just get deep in, in your heart and soul. Uh, God tells us to meditate on Scripture, and that word meditate has a semantic uh, overlap with the idea of of, of chewing on something, you know. If you read the book of Psalms, especially Psalm 119, you'll see a lot of a lot of emphasis on the Word of God and letting it uh, take root in your heart. And so, one of the practices that I'd like to encourage you to engage in, and so, with some sort of regularity, is this sort of thing with passages like Habakkuk 2:20, and it is just taking some time every day to read aloud very slowly, r repetitively, and allow God's Word to work on your heart. Uh, Bailey actually recommended this book to me a few months ago that I just finished reading last week or two weeks ago called How to Hear God. And it, this is one of the things it talked about in that book was just the importance of, of hearing God through Scripture and uh, Lexio Divina was one of the things that it recommended. And uh, so anyway, what, what that looks like is taking the passage and just reading it out loud. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. But just, just kind of sit there with it. And then read it again repeatedly. And think about, just op kind of open yourself up to God teaching you through his scripture. I mean, we all believe that, right? We believe that God works through his word as a sword of the spirit. Uh, the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. And, and God can take his word and really make a difference in our hearts. Uh, one thing that I'm guilty of, you know, like a lot of you reading through scripture this year, uh, that's not what I'm guilty of. I mean, I am doing that, but I don't consider that something to be guilty of. But one thing that I'm guilty of with that is that I have a tendency to just okay. I need to get I need to get my reading done. You know, whatever it is, four chapters. Uh, I need to get that done. I need to say my prayer or whatever, and then I can kind of check that off and move on with the rest of my day. And and sometimes my devotionals become like that. It is. I need to get through a certain amount of verses in order to have my reading done, in order to be to be able to say I'm I'm a daily Bible reader, or whatever. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think there's a good thing about getting through the Bible every year. <clears throat> Having said that, it neglects something else. It neglects sitting with Scripture in silence, at least partial silence, 
and allowing God to work through just a short part of scripture, like a verse. So having said all that, I'd like to encourage you to do something. I'd like to encourage you to take a back at 220 and use it this week in that kind of way and read it slowly, read it aloud and sit with it and meditate on it and think about the implications. How, and ask God to help you, you know, Lord, how might you use this verse today? And God might open your eyes to see something that you're struggling with, something you're dealing with, some sort of problem, uh, some sort of issue, some sort of, uh, maybe something you, you haven't even been made aware of. It's just kind of been sitting in the back of your consciousness somewhere. And you haven't really realized how much it's been affecting you. And God might use this passage to say, hey, you know what? That thing, that thing, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay because I'm in my temple. I'm in my holy temple. Everything's going to be okay. Uh, another way of doing this is to focus on a different word of a passage. So uh, you can read something like that, and it can be, the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord. Just kind of think about the Lord, what that means. Um, the Lord is in his holy. It is set apart. It is sanctified. The Lord is in his holy temple. You know, he's in his holy temple. And you think about the implications of that, the dwelling place of God. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth, let all the earth keep silent before him. And then, you know, focus on keep silence. Keep silence before him. And we can just focus on different words, different phrases. And it, it can open up new vistas of understanding, of enlightenment, of your seeing how the word of God works in your heart and life. And so that's that's a practical thing I wanted to encourage you to do. And, and I'd, I hope maybe that it might encourage you to do that with other pastors. You could go back to verse uh, 13, I think it is, 13, verse 14, actually. For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And you just kind of commit that to memory and then say it out loud, pray over it, think about it, meditate on it, chew on it, ask God to open your eyes and help you to see the, the depths of the truth that are hidden in it. And I think you might be surprised that God works in mighty ways uh, when we slow down. Don't have to get through four chapters. Just take a verse. Take a verse and spend 10 minutes with it every day this week. Same verse, maybe. Maybe do a different verse every day. And uh, God's Word is living and powerful, active, sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. That's way, the way uh, Hebrews 4.12 puts it. So that's my encouragement for you, is to take this, uh, this very, very powerful verse and to uh, use it this week. So hope it might, God might use it. I, I know he will when we commit to sitting before him, submitting to his word. Uh, I'm going to have a prayer, and then after that prayer, we'll play some songs. Hope you have a great week. Thanks for joining me for this uh, short devotional. Let's pray together. Father, you are good and kind. Uh, Lord, we trust in you, and we believe in you, and we believe that your scripture is powerful. Uh, Lord, help us today, tomorrow, every day to sit before your word and to open up our hearts, for you to open up our hearts and allow your word to explore the, the, the various aspects of our hearts and to open up our eyes so that we may see more clearly what we need to see. Lord, we know that you are in your holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before you, our Lord and our God. Through Christ we pray. Amen.
Your holy name. I worship your holy name. 